Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and... And welcome to the Cornley Polytechnic Drama Society's presentation of The Murder at Haversham Manor. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Chris, the director, and I would like to personally welcome you to what will be my directorial debut and my first production as head of the Drama Society. Firstly, I would like to apologize to those of you involved in our little box office mix-up. I do hope the 376 of you affected will enjoy our little murder mystery as much as you would have enjoyed Mamma Mia. We are particularly excited to present this play because, well, for the first time in the Society's history, we've managed to select a play that fits the Society's numbers perfectly. If we're honest, a lack of numbers has sometimes hampered past productions, uh, such as last year's Chekhov play, Two Sisters, Last Christmas's The Lion and the Wardrobe, or indeed our summer musical, Cat. <sighs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just leave it. Leave it. <sighs> right. Welcome to the murder at Haversham Manor. Can I kindly request that all of your mobile phones and any other electronic devices are switched off? And please note that flash photography of any kind is strictly prohibited. And if anyone finds a Duran Duran CD box set, that is a personal item and I want that back. So please do return that to my tech box, end of the show. Enjoy the performance. All right, can we prepare for Lights Up on Act 1? Note for the cast, Winston is still missing. We need to find him before the guard dog scene. Uh, we need him back in his cage as soon as possible. What's Annie doing on the stage? Get her off so Chris can do his stupid spe- Oh! Well, bravo, Inspector. You found out about Florence and I, but it proves nothing. We had nothing to do with Charles's murder, but Thomas Collymore does. Oh, Inspector, he is a dangerously unhinged man with a devil of a temper, and Florence is his sister. Now, I've said it once before, and I'll say it once again. He couldn't stand the idea of giving her up to any man, let alone his old school chum. He saw them together at tonight's engagement party, and he lost control, and he lashed out at Charles. It was a crime of passion, perhaps, but there it is. Here you are, Mr. Collymore. Thank you, Perkins. Let's get this door open. We're coming in, Charlie. We're coming in. There we are. We're in. But what's this? Charles? Unconscious? Asleep, surely, Mr. Collymore. Damn it, Perkins. I hope so. I'll take his pulse. Blast. I knew something must have been wrong. It's so unlike Charles to disappear like this. Sir? He's dead? Damn it. He can't be. He's my oldest friend. <sighs> He's not breathing, sir, and there's not a hint of a heartbeat. Well, I'm dumbfounded. He was right as rain an hour ago. I don't understand. He can't be dead. He was as fit as a fiddle. It doesn't make sense. Of course it makes sense. He's been murdered. Good God, where's Florence? Uh, sh she's in the dining room. Sh shall I fetch her? At once, Perkins, and quickly. Uh, but she's bound to have one of her hysterical episodes. Damn it. Gather everyone in here. Charles, dead. What a horror. <sighs> Charlie, are you ready? We're all waiting downstairs to raise a glass to your engagement. Charlie? Come along now, Charlie. You've been in there for hours. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were having second thoughts about the wedding. <laughs> Charlie? Hang it all, Charlie. If you won't come out, then we'll come in. Damn it, it's locked. Hand me those keys, Perkins. Here they are, Mr. Collymore. Thank you, Perkins. We're coming in, Charlie. We're coming in. Let's get this door open. There we are. We're in. But 
What's this? Charles, unconscious? Asleep, surely, Mr. Collymore. Damn it, I hope so, Perkins. I'll take his pulse. Blast! I should have known that something was wrong. It's so unlike Charles to disappear like this. Sir, he's dead. But he can't be, Perkins! He's my oldest friend. He's not breathing, sir, and no hint of a heartbeat. Well, I'm dumbfounded. He was right as rain an hour ago. I don't understand. He can't be dead. He was fit as a fiddle. It doesn't make sense. Of course it makes sense. He was murdered! Good God! Where's Florence? She's in the dining room, sir. Shall I fetch her? At once, Perkins, and quickly. But she's bound to have one of her hysterical episodes. Damn it, gather everyone in here! Charles, dead. What a horror.